the first impression. Make sure you get off to the best start by captivating them from the very first moment. How to get a first impression? Personal appearance. Personal grooming and hygiene are very much important no matter what job you apply for. It actually enhances your credibility. Dress sense. Keep it simple. Do not overdo jewelry, perfume and other accessories. Dress according to the firm. Dress according to the place of work. Understood? Now then, how to build rapport with the interviewers? When you have arrived for the interview, be pleasant and kind with anyone who meets you or anyone who takes you to the interview. For example, me and my friend were in the final round of an interview and the reason I got selected was because I was friendly and kind to the office boy who has taken me to the interview. So little things matter the most at times. As soon as you enter the room, put anything you are carrying down. If your hands are wet, make sure you wipe them on a tissue before you enter the room. And shake hands with the interviewer and make eye contact. Got it? You have arrived for the interview and you have entered the room. Now it's time for the settling phase. Few good interviewers will actually provide you the time to settle down and feel comfortable. They'll offer you a drink or they'll have a small talk about your journey. This is the time where you need to build rapport with the interviewer. The most important thing which you need to follow in an interview is body language. The gestures, the postures and the signs which you exhibit are actually sending signals to the interviewer. Avoid crossing of your legs and crossing of your arms. This actually indicates defensive mode. Be aware of the signals you are sending to the interviewer. Leaning forward or backward. Leaning forward actually shows that you are interested and engaged in what is happening. And what about leaning backward? It actually shows that you are switched off and you are disengaged in what is happening. Maintain your eye contact. This can be difficult for someone who is shy or introvert. If you are not maintaining the eye contact, it shows that you are hiding something or you aren't telling the truth. The next one, watch the interviewer. If the interviewer is doing what you shouldn't do, then you have lost the rapport with the interviewer. All these can be avoided with practice. If you probably had very few interviews in your life, it's not surprising that you're quite nervous. Like everything in life, more meticulous the plan and practice, easier will be the execution. How can you practice? You can ask your friend or colleague to help you. He can actually put in the frequently asked questions in an interview. He can guide you in answering the frequently asked questions in an interview and also impose his or her own questions so that you will be prepared for something unexpected. And finally, you can take a feedback from him or her. The best possible resource for practice is video camera, where you can review it afterwards and multiple times. You can ask your friend for feedback and even you can have your own feedback on your videos. You can check out your body language. You can see how you're presenting yourself, etc.